So after working uh, steps 18 through 21, I've uh, come to the conclusion that step 18 um, is kind of like an error and it should be just deleted and replaced with my uh, step 21, which I'll show here. Okay, we're uh, looking at step number 21, which unfortunately is not in the correct spot in the um, instructions, and you'll find out why here. So for this step, you're going to need... Uh, four M3 nuts there, and you're going to need two M318 screws. And here's an assembled one. I'll kind of zoom in for you. And uh, you're just going to put one nut on the inside and one nut on the outside and it's going to be pretty much flush right there mine's sticking out just a little bit and you'll see you got the four screws that hook onto the bottom rail the bottom rail being that bottom rail right there see it's got four screws and those correspond with the four center screws right there so you're just going to go off to the sides and attach those uh, the uh, screws and nuts there and I'll show you how I do it on the other side there um, so all I do is I kind of thread it through there then I start backing it off and then I tighten this down Do a little crescent wrench and just kind of tighten it up. So that's about all there is to that. You're just going to need 12 M48 screws. Should be in this little bag right here. M48. Sorry about the autofocus. Just get your 12 screws laid out, and then we get the, your bracket. There's where the 12 screws are going to go into, and they're just going to you're just going to mount this bracket up on there, and I'll show you what that looks like. You can access these bottom ones by putting your screwdriver through these little slots there, and just tightening them down. And so there's four slots, one for each one. Okay, so we just put in, uh, finally put the screws back in. You can see the ones we're working on. There's one sticking out the back there, kind of. And then the 12 holding it onto the rails. Okay, we're ready to start putting the belt on. And the way I did it is you get your zip ties and you just loop that, uh, loop that belt around the bottom over the top. And I put my zip ties on the cable ahead of time. And that way I can just slide them up into position. And again, the belt went down through here over the top facing down. And I just looped them from the bottom over the top. This one I got close as I could. And this one I'll just bring out to here. And I'll swing it around. All I'm going to do is continue the boot, boot, the belt looping around the stepper motor. Come back, loop around here, and meet it on that side there. Okay, I just spun it around so you can meet, see me loop it around the stepper motor. And then uh, loop it back through. And 
And then I'm just going to go around to the other side and kind of do the same thing. There's a little wheel in there. I'll zoom in and show you. See a little wheel right there. I'm just going to loop around that. And I'll flip it around and come back to the other side to tighten it off on that other post. Okay, I'm getting ready to put that belt on. All I did is loop my uh, ties ahead of time. Slide them on. Let me just pull this tight. And then pull these uh, zip ties tight. And I don't know how long it's going to take me to get that. You want that uh, nice and tight there. So I'm going to, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, I pretty much got it done there. Um, all I'm going to do is take my, uh, clippers they provide you with and uh, s snip those off there. I'll go ahead and clip these off. And there is one other step you want to clip your belt. Here's what it looks like from the front. 